today uh, on this video we're going to be talking about hair grabs. That's a, a popular request we get from a lot of women. The reason why this can be so devastating is because you have a complete control of somebody when you grab their hair. It's really easy, right? Almost like grab the back of the neck and you can control someone quite easily from here. So with this hair grab, I've got a lot of control that I can do to this person. So we're gonna learn how to deal with that. To start with, we have our lovely assistants and I'm gonna actually lightly pull their hair so they can experience what it feels like. Has anybody ever pulled your hair? Have you pulled each other's hair? Probably. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of grab in here, right? You okay with this? Yeah. All right, so <laughs> from here, I want to start to control you. with see how easy it is to start to control in you here. How does this feel? Not very good. <laughs> no, okay, good. It shouldn't feel good. How about you? You ready? See how easy it, that yeah. is to control yeah. you around? All right. One of the secrets is, as Justin, he's got, I don't have hair, so he's going to grab the back <laughs> of my neck, right? Uh, just go ahead and grab the neck. Yeah, gotcha. right? Simulating, right? Being able to control me. As he controls me, right? Right, he has a lot of control. First and foremost is I got to get my hips underneath me, right? Because he's taking my hair and he's using it to take me off balance, right? So I want to first think about getting my balance back. Then also the second part is I got to be able to create an injury, right? So if I'm away from him, there's no chance to create an injury. So I got to get in close. So there's two things I'm trying to look for, regaining my balance and then getting in nice and tight so that I have an opportunity to execute an attack. So we'll just take it one step at a time. So as he's here, I'm gonna come in tight like this, right? So now, try and pull me from here. Especially if I hold him like this, try and pull my hair, <laughs> right? So you guys try this part, okay? He's gonna pull Esther's hair first. Yeah, now it's, now it's a lot harder for him to do anything to you, right? You feel more comfortable there than you did when I was pulling your hair? Yeah, you wanna try it? You want to be even closer in too. There you go. Good. Now, what are some targets that you can hit and penetrate through from that position that you think will work from there? Try the same thing and then we'll kind of point out some targets for you and give you some ideas to help you out as well. Nice, good. Okay, so let me give you a tip on what you're doing right here. So you're getting in here, you're getting in nice and tight, and you're getting to this point, right? And you're using this as an attack. So if you're attacking low, think about also attacking high at the same time, because you were trying to get him to trip, right? So if I go here, then I can kind of bring around this foot and come in high, right? So think about attack high, low. <coughs> Nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab Justin. He's gonna do the same thing. All right, so I'm just gonna come in here. And he's gonna come in here now. He's got me right here. I, I can't pull him anymore, right? So what targets do you see? First couple things I see is the groin. It's right here. Okay. When somebody's attacking you, it's gonna do this to me, right? And so that's gonna create different targets. Boom, straight up to here. Only thing I'm slightly concerned about right here is Peter's got me in here is his hand. So that's also something else. We're just kind of talking about hair grabs specifically right now, mm -hmm. but that is something to pay attention to. Cause I could start to use this to attack him with as well. I might be fighting back, but if he is punching me in the groin, I might not be thinking about that. So sometimes your best defense is a good offense. Oh, right here, hitting the ears. Done. Right here. How are you doing, Justin? Doing great.